So what does dependency upon God look like? Well, let's take another verse here. Matthew 6 and verse 11. Give us this day our daily bread. Hmm, one day at a time. Give us this day our daily bread. Now, this doesn't mean you don't have to work for it. God is a great multiplier of our efforts. In other words, ten if you're putting forth zero effort, well, ten times zero is zero. But if you're putting forth a little bit of effort, God is a great multiplier of our efforts. And so who do we look for? Who do we depend on? We depend on the government for food stamps, handout, housing. This verse says, give us this day our daily bread. Now, it doesn't say, give us this day a six-month supply of food in an underground bunker. Uh, give me a 3,000-gallon diesel tank so I can run my generator. No, it doesn't say that. It says, give us this day our daily bread, one day at a time. Now, I'm not saying you don't need to prepare. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for preparing for certain things. I mean, uh, the, the time to start uh, cutting your firewood is not when there's two foot of snow on the ground. You know, you prepare ahead of time, but nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying we, we just, it, it is one day at a time. The Bible says, give us this day our daily bread, one day at a time. We have this ungrateful spirit that we're blind to the blessings and miracles that are happening in our lives every day. But anyway, back to Deuteronomy 4 and verse 29. But if from thence you shall seek the Lord your God, you shall find him. If you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul, when you are in tribulation and all these things come upon you, even in the latter days, if you turn to the Lord your God and shall be obedient unto his voice. Yes, obedient. The very things that preachers a lot of preachers talk against obedience, not of works, lest any man should boast. They never quote the rest of that verse. We are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Yeah, good work. We're supposed to have good works. Okay, obedient unto his voice. Now, the Bible seems to indicate in prophecy that we as a nation go into captivity at the end time. Why? because we, we refuse to govern ourselves. Why would God allow another country to take over America? Answer, because we refuse to govern ourselves. You, you see example of that in the Bible again and again. When a people will not govern themselves, God allows that country, God allows that nation to be taken over. Israel was occupied by Rome in Jesus' day. Yeah. Now, the Israelites had their religion, they had their families, they had their jobs, but they were occupied under Rome or by Rome. They were no longer able to govern themselves. And on God comes along and says, I'm going to send you someone that can do it for you. Now, question, are you sending a message to your government that says you cannot govern yourself? It's just a question. Are you sending a message to your government saying, I can't govern myself. I'm too dumb to do that. Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? Galatians 6 and verse 4 says, But let every man prove his own work, and then he shall rejo have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. You know, if your government is taking care of you and giving you housing, food stamp, paying for your college education, your cell phone, you know, this verse says, Let every man prove his own work, and then he shall have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. There's... Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.